Zeus has released the cast of Baddies East, and you better believe we're gonna talk about it. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new here or you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a beat. Also, support the channel by clicking the thumbs up button right below this video. When you click that thumbs up button, you're supporting us over here at Damien After Dark, and I appreciate that so, so, so much. You can also support by donating to the channel. There are multiple ways you can donate. I will put that in the description below using Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. Those are the, th the three payment applications that you can use. You can also use YouTube's way, which is super thanks. Don't forget that YouTube does take 50% of the money that you guys tip us creators. Just a little fun fact. Last but not least, join the conversation. I want to hear from you on what you think of the new cast of Baddies Season 4, Baddies East. 15 new cast members, not new. I can't say all of them are new. 15 total cast members. What? Like, damn, why so many? What was going on? Zeus has really got a budget this season, right? 15, y'all got 15 girls on payroll? That's a, this is a big cast. So are we gonna have two buses? I'm just curious. So before before we get into the cast, I'm gonna. I know y'all probably thinking. For those who don't know the cast, I know a lot of y'all probably already do if you follow Zeus on Instagram. But for those who don't know the cast, fifteen girls. They're gonna have to have two, either two sprinter vans or two RV tour buses, whatever you want to call them, because there's no way you can fit fifteen girls, three to four cameramen, an audio guy, producers. All on one bus. It's not. It's, it'll never happen. So I, I don't know. Why we'll we're watching to see. <clears throat> now, I'm 50-50 conflicted on this cast. Um, well, but first, before let me say that. Let me before let, before I say that, let me say this. I couldn't get it out. Um, I know I'm late on this cast announcement because I think they announced it like a day or two ago, Thursday or Friday, and I noticed in um previous videos in the comments some people will be like oh this is old you're late like if i post if i post something that you know maybe was announced two to three days ago and i you know and i post a video two to three days later people are like oh that's old whatever and it's like well don't watch okay don't watch if you're if you're one of those that are coming to this video right now don't don't watch because the people who are here the people who are here to watch that are truly here to watch are meant to be here they're the ones who show up every week they're the ones that i care about they're the ones that i do this for not you hoes in the comments okay next now let's um and two i do want to say um i do have a full-time job i do have a life outside of youtube as, as much as i love youtube and i love my youtube family and y'all watching y'all know how it is y'all got jobs too y'all got things going on kids and all that kind of stuff the day I become a full-time YouTuber, I will spit content out like that. Okay? Now, let me let, let me get started because we only got 30 minutes to do this thing. I like to keep it under 30 minutes. Now, part of me didn't like the cast. Part of me didn't was not really feeling this cast. I don't know about y'all. But I started thinking, we might be on to something here. This might be the best season we've had because some of these personalities are so huge and outrageous and because we are in we are going to be on the east coast we are going to be in new york philly baltimore jersey dc we're going to be there right um and we also have a previous bad girl we have one girl from the bad girls club who is joining I'm excited about that. We're going to talk about that. Um, a lot of these girls, I noticed from the from the cast, one of the things I noticed is, yet again, here we are, four seasons in, and they're still rarely picking any girls that auditioned. What's the point of the auditions? To, for clicks and views and streams and money? That's, I mean, that's really the only point of the auditions because... There was only like maybe four girls that auditioned, I think, that were on the sh that, that that made it onto the show. Out of those fifteen girls, there's like four that auditioned that made it. If that, if that. Um, so let's get into the returning cast members. Let's get or let's get into the not 
Let's get into all the cast members, but let's start with the returning cast members because every season, in traditional baddies fashion, they bring back girls from prior seasons. Maybe it's a fan favorite. Maybe it's a girl that caused a lot of chaos. Um, maybe it's um, someone that that that's been in the in the blogs and in the media that really set the internet ablaze. So let's get into the returning cast members. The most shocking returning cast member of them all that I just could not believe, the most shocking was Natalie. I just could not believe that Natalie Nunn was going to be a part of the cast. What? Natalie, of course. Did that shock y'all, really? I don't think Natalie will ever step behind the scenes. I don't. If she would just get out of her own way, if Natalie would get out of her own way, Step behind the scenes for a season. Give these other girls a chance to shine. This show would flourish even more than it already is. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like she gets in her own way. And I love Natalie. I have a love-hate relationship with her. And I like, <clears throat> I, she makes great television. However, the baddies format and her being involved, is it, it, it's getting old. Same for this next girl. Krishan. Krishan is back. Why? Why? Why is Krishan back? I get that the network loves Krishan and they're invested in her, but y'all already gave this girl a show. She's already been on two seasons of Baddies. She's got her own TV show with her own man. We have seen enough of Krishan. I'm over it. I feel like they are shoving Krishan down our throat at this point, and I can't take no more. I have deep-throated Krishan enough. I have swallowed Krishan enough. I'm spitting her out. I'm spitting this time. And and why are you even joining baddies, Krishan? You pregnant. This girl is due in September. You are filming Baddies East, eight months pregnant. You, are you, What, you going to be in the club with a belly? Not shaming the girls that are in the club pregnant. But if you are, your priorities might be a little fucked up at the, at the moment. You're going to be in the club pregnant, hanging around a bunch of girls who are smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, fighting. That is not the environment for you. You should be at home on bed rest with your man. Your man should be there supporting you. But let's face it, he's not going to be. He don't support you. You don't, I mean... Come on, what is going on, Krishan? What get get your life together, girl? You're a, you're a mother now. I get that baddies is a good check because in Krishan's eyes, she took to Instagram Live because uh, Blueface kind of shamed her for going on baddies being pregnant, and she took to Instagram Live and addressed it, and she said she's going on baddies because she's gonna or she's going on the road and doing baddies to make money for them and their child. And I understand that that you know you want to make money for your kid, but there's other ways. Baddies is not your only option. You're Krishan Rock now. Okay, you don't got to do baddies. You can do endorsements. You've got your own show. There's other things that you can do to make money. Hell, you ain't even got to work. You got enough money in the bank. You in blue, or you can take a year off to be with your baby. But she don't want the baby. Remember, she don't. If you if y'all are not watching their show, Blueface and Krishan's show on her show. She didn't want the baby, and she was wanting to get an abortion at five months pregnant. And I'm not judging her. If that's her. If that's what she wanted to do, that's what she wanted to do. Um, but now she's eight months pregnant, and I even said on the on the after show of Blueface and Krishan, when she has that baby, when she has it, her mind is going to change. She's going to be glad she never aborted it. She's going to be glad she kept it. But she does not need to be on Baddies East, touring around the East Coast, with a bunch of girls drinking and smoking and fighting every day. Let's just be real about it. I mean, damn. And shame on you, Zeus, for even allowing it. Y'all should have said, Krishan, um, we were going to ask you back, but since you're pregnant, we're going to give you some time off. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll have you back when we do Baddies Dubai. Hell, not, not Dubai, because y'all get kicked out and arrested there in the heart. We'll call you back when we do Baddies London, whatever, you know. And two, shame on you, Zeus, because y'all know Krishan is young and and easy to manipulate, easy to exploit, and vulnerable, and, and you know, you put money in her face. And granted, they can't 
force Krishan to do anything. She's a grown woman. How, however, she's a grown, young, 20-something-year-old woman who's easy to exploit. Very easy to exploit. Um, <clears throat> it just seems like she's being shoved down our throats. I don't know. How do y'all feel about Krishan coming back? Put in the comments if you want Krishan to come back. Next up coming back is Stunner Girl. Stunner Girl is back, which I'm not surprised by. Um, I feel like Zeus really likes Stunner Girl. I think there was this love-hate thing with Stunner Girl. She had a lot of people who hated her, and she had a lot of the fans who loved her. And Zeus knew um, that they, or Zeus thought it was a good idea to bring her back. And also, she was the central point of all of the drama last season. She was like, she was like the Krishan of last season. How Krishan was on Batty's South is how I feel like Stunner Girl is on Batty's, was on Batty's West. I'm also curious to see how Krishan and Stunner Girl will be on Batty's East. Because, you know, on Batty's West, I told y'all I felt like Krishan had a crush on Stunner Girl. Now, Krishan will lie all day and say she's not a lesbian or bisexual. But I know a spade when I see one called a spade a spade. And Krishan likes to eat that coochie cat. She likes that tootsie roll. And the way she acts around Stunner Girl, she got a little girl crush on Stunner Girl. So, I'm curious to see how they'll act with Stunner Girl coming back. Um... I kind of forgot about Stunner Girl, to be, not, to be honest with y'all. Even though she was, like, the focal point of last season, I kind of forgotten about her a little bit. How do y'all feel about Stunner Girl coming back? So, another one that I'm not surprised to see returning is Roly. Zeus loves her. They gave her her own show. Roly got her own show that she's been, that she she's been filming, um, which will document her surgery and you know this body journey that she's going through, and that will air later this year. Um, so Roly's back. I'm not surprised. Fan favorite. They love her. They've given her her own show. Um, she used to be Roly used to be my favorite of all the baddies until she kind of rubbed me the wrong way with the reunion last season. Um, when she made those comments towards DJ Scott, kind of showed me a different side of Roly that I did not like. Um, however, I do know that it comes from ignorance and just not really knowing better, just being ignorant. Um, and I still love Roly. You know, she said something stupid. I'm going to give her a pass. We all say dumb shit. We all say ignorant shit when we don't know better, right? Uh, so I guess I'm glad that she's back. Um, this will be Roly's third season of doing baddies um i don't know what do y'all think are y'all excited for Rolly to be back how y'all feel oh lord scotty's back Again, I'm not surprised by this one. A little disappointed, but I'm not surprised because Natalie needs her assistant. Natalie can't go anywhere without her assistant. She can't go anywhere without her lap dog. So did y'all really think that Natalie was not going to bring Scotty back? She's got to have somebody that when she gets mad that she can take her frustrations out on. She's got to have a punching bag for when, when Rock pisses her off because she knows she can't whoop Rock's ass. So what do we do? We bring Scotty in. Um, Scotty, we wrote you off on Batty's West. We wrote her off. And then we gave her a second chance on Batty's South. And you blew it, Scotty. You blew it when you let Natalie put the paws on you. When you let Natalie punk you in front of the whole wide world and made you look pussy. You, you, you blew your chance when Natalie slapped you and dogged you in front of everybody and you said, stop, Natalie, stop. What are you doing? Huh? I thought you were my friend. Girl, in that moment, I was like a pissed off parent. I was like a pissed off parent whose child came home to them and said, somebody hit me. And I said, well, what did you hit them back? And they said, no. 
that's how I am with Scott. And I gave you another chance, Scotty, and now we're bringing you back for season three, but the chances are up. We're not giving her no more chances because we all know what Scotty brings. Scotty's going to bring nothing else to the table. And here's the thing. I'm not picking on Scotty because I genuinely like her, just not for reality TV because I feel like if you were to meet Scotty, she's going to be that down-to-earth chick that's cool, that you can kick it with, that you can have a drink with, you can smoke a blunt with. She's not about all the bullshit and the drama. She's not catty. She's just cool. You know what I'm saying? But she's she doesn't make great TV. She's the kind you watch on TV and you want to go like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Scotty, you don't stick up for yourself. And that's not a baddie to me. To me, a baddie is going to be somebody who's going to stick up for themselves no matter what. No matter if it's your mama, your sister, your brother, your best friend, your girlfriend, whatever. You don't let nobody punk you. And Scotty has let people punk her season after season. And we've gave her chance after chance. And I'm just like, you know, you just let Natalie run all over you. And I don't like how you play this baddie persona, Scotty, but you don't back it up when the going gets tough. How are we feeling about Scotty returning? How do you feel at home? Are you glad that Scotty's returning for season four? This will be her third round. If you remember, she came in as a replacement for Christina on Baddies West when it started. Now, here's the one that blew my mind that was returning. Here's the one person that I was like, what the fuck was Zeus smoking when they made this decision? And that was DJ Diaper Butt. That was DJ Sky High Baby. DJ Sky Baby is back. And I'm like, what the fuck? But you know what? I got to give it to Zeus because I would rather have DJ Sky than I would Biggie. So I'm not mad at them for this one. But I still don't understand it. Of all the girls y'all chose, y'all chose DJ Sky. I would much rather had had Low London. I would much rather had had Cat. I mean, fuck. I'd take Sydney Star at this point. DJ Sky, she was like a fucking plant. I mean, she might as well have been a motherfucking fly on the wall. We never really recognized when she was there. And when she was there, she made no sense. She looked a mess. And she was in Krishan's shadow, licking Krishan's ass everywhere she went. Like, I, I just, I don't get DJ Sky. And then, like, I don't know, y'all. I'm just not, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. Miss DJ, but I'm really not a DJ. This girl couldn't even get on her iPod and play a song. Much less keep a club entertained. But we're supposed to call you DJ. And then and then Zeus has got her up there on the flyer again. Baddies East. Uh, returning cast member. DJ Sky. And they got in parentheses the official tour DJ. Y'all know this girl couldn't get a song to play. Every club y'all went to, something was happening. DJ Sky did not want to be a DJ. She wanted to be a baddie. She wanted just to be a reality star. She just wanted to be one of the girls that showed up, looked pretty, twerked, danced, and got the check. She don't want to be up there. Where, 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 where. She ain't trying to do all that. And y'all wasted a spot for a girl who really wanted to be on this show. Y'all wasted a spot for somebody who was probably actually entertaining who had personality over this girl. All right, Sky, you got one more season to re to redeem yourself too, but we I already know you're going to blow it. I already know she's going to blow it. I don't know. How do y'all feel about DJ Diaper Butt returning? She claimed her butt was real. And the girl, if that's the truth and I like pussy, tell another lie. Tell another lie. If you want DJ Sky to return, let me know in the comments. If you want DJ Sky to stay the fuck where she came from, let me know in the comments as well. Now, Zeus, when they announced the cast, they had two separate slides. They had returning cast members, and then they had celebrity and audition picks. 
So I guess now every season we're going to get returning cast members, we're going to get people who auditioned, and we're going to get celebrity picks. I don't know, y'all. This sh it, it's It's gotten so random to me. Tell me if y'all feel this way too. Like, like I, I, I understand we brought on Tommy last season. Was there another celebrity pick? I know we brought on Raz B to Bad Boys. Zeus is getting into this thing to where they're wanting to bring in celebrity picks onto these shows. And I just, I don't, like, why did the celebrities come into place? I understand that Zeus thinks if they attach themselves to these, these, these reality stars and these influencers that it's going to attach them to their following as well. But it's random. And it doesn't make sense. And if you're going to incorporate these VH1 has-beens and rejects and these washed-up reality stars... If you're going to incorporate them, make it make sense. Because, I mean, right now, if, if, if Batty, let's just say Baddies wasn't a show and it was just an idea and Natalie came to me and I own Zeus Network or I own Bravo and Natalie is going to pitch and I say, what is your show idea? Give me your show. What is, what is Baddies East or whatever? Like, what is it? What is it about? Regular Baddies? and celebrity baddies who come together and go on a tour it like it just doesn't make any sense to me this would not happen in real life people don't do this in real i don't know i don't get it i don't get it and granted bad girls club people didn't do that in real life either a bunch of girls didn't get thrown into a house together in real life unless you were just in a sor sorority but i don't know i just wish like th if this show made more sense i feel like it would be more entertaining but right now, it's just like it's like the blind leading the blind. They all just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, now, now we're gonna start with um, the celebrity and audition picks. So I'm gonna start off first with the celebrities, the girls that I know and the girls that you may know. And first up, we have um, Whoa Vicky. We have Whoa Vicky. Now you all probably know Wo Vicky. If you don't know Wo Vicky, she is known from social media. She got her big break off of, I think it was Vine. It was one of those apps um, that she kind of went viral off of. And ever since, she stayed in the blogs. She's kind of stayed in the blogs and gone viral over shit. She's kind of a professional clout chaser, does shit for attention. She's also known for being that white girl who likes to imitate black culture. Yes, she's one of those. One of those white girls who, I guess, you know, died, th thought she died and came back a black woman. I don't know. Um, now, I do think this will be entertaining. Not her being a culture vulture, but her joining the show. Because I think it's going to be interesting to see how she intermingles with this group of girls. Who all have very strong personalities. Who are from different shows, different walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, Vicky, I think this is... Whoa, Vicky, I don't think has ever done reality TV. Most of these girls know what they're getting themselves into. You know, a lot of these girls have either done baddies or they've done the Bad Girls Club or they've done Love and Hip Hop. They've done some kind of reality show. Whoa, Vicky is just, you know, she's got her fame and money from the internet. So this is going to be a whole different ball game, Vicky. And I don't know if you're going to be able to hang because these girls, they don't... Vicky likes to just use her mouth these girls like to throw hands i don't know i hope she watched baddies before she joined because low london is a prime example of last season as to why you don't come on to baddies without watching it first because low london came onto the show thinking it was going to be you know we're going to travel get cute show up to clubs real housewives of of real housewives of baddies east or whatever no baby girl they come swinging on night one so, how do y'all feel about Woe Vicky joining the cast? Now, our next resident white girl joining the crew is Mariah Lynn from Love and Hip Hop New York. You may recognize her from the Love and Hip Hop franchise. Now, before we get into her, didn't I tell y'all? Are you listening? Didn't I tell y'all when we did the, the, the Baddies East auditions after show? We talked about how Zeus Network already knows who they're going to pick for these shows. However, they send these girls 
and guys to the auditions to make it look like they're actually auditioning because Zeus don't Zeus don't want y'all to know that they already have their cast in mind because if they know that y'all that they, if they if they know that y'all know that they already have their cast in mind they know that people are not going to show up to these auditions right they want people to show up to these auditions but like I told y'all from the get go they pre-selected Chef D for Bad Boys Club and he showed up to audition. They pre-selected Prince from Bad Boys Club. He showed up to audition. They both ended up on the show. Same thing with Mariah Lynn. They called Mariah Lynn up, wanted her to be a part of the show, offered her a contract, told her to show up to the audition so it looks real. Um, so how do y'all feel about Mariah Lynn joining? I don't really have an opinion. Um, I never really watched Love and Hip Hop New York. But apparently Mariah Lynn got her, her wig ripped off day one. Now, allegedly, they started filming yesterday. And I saw a picture of one of the girls, or a video, where one of the girls had ripped off Mariah's wig. So, y'all know Zeus loves them a VH1 has been. They love them a loving hip-hop reject. Um, another one that auditioned who was pre-picked was Krishan's sister. Y'all remember Krishan's sister auditioned. And I didn't think she was going to make it, but she did. She's been living in rock shadow for two years. So she's finally getting a shot and getting the fame and the little five minutes and the little change that she wanted. And that is Tashiki. I'm not looking forward to seeing her because if you watch her on Blueface and Krishan Crazy in Love, you'll know that she's a thirst bucket. She'll do anything for attention. I just don't care to see Krishan's sister. But how do y'all feel? Do y'all want to see Krishan's sister join the show? Rock, I'm going to tell y'all the thing about Rock's sister, Krishan's sister. She's going to be the biggie of the group. Mark my words. She's going to be the Chef D of the group. She's going to be the Sydney star of the group. She's the one who didn't get enough attention as a child. And so now when a camera gets in her face, she acts a fool. And her sister was rumored to be on the show back when Baddies West was airing. So I don't know. How do y'all feel about her joining? Now this one I'm excited about. This one I'm excited about. Whoop her ass, Camila. You better whoop her ass. Camila Point Dexter from the Bad Girls Club Las Vegas and Bad Girls Club Redemption. I'm excited that Camila is back for a few reasons. Number one, she comes from the Bad Girls Club franchise. I always love when our OG Bad Girls come on to baddies because it just gives me that nostalgia that I've been missing. Um, Camila can fight. So we, you know, we can best believe that we're going to get some, some entertaining moments from Camila. And aside from fighting, her personality is entertaining. So I'm excited to see that. And number three, Camila and Natalie have unresolved beef that goes all the way back from when they did Bad Girls Club All-Stars with one another. So, um, or Redemption, whatever you want to call it. They've got some unresolved beef. And I think that, you know, it was smart for Natalie to cast Camila because the fans want to see them, you know, together. And maybe they'll make up on camera. Maybe they'll, you know, beat each other's head in. I don't know. But I really am glad that Camila's on the show. And I'm sure Camila's glad, too, because she's been trying to get on baddies since the first season. Y'all y'all remember that? Y'all know that? She's been telling the fans, y'all want me on baddies? Well, tell Natalie. Tell Natalie to put me on baddies. And um, this one I can get behind. You finally got your way, Camila. If you can't beat them, join them. Um, now, here are the audition picks. And how do you feel about Camila joining? Let me know in the comments. If you're feeling Camila, let me know. If you don't want Camila joining, let me know as well. Now, I'm going we're running out of time here, so I'm gonna run through the audition picks really quick because I don't know any of these girls. I think I remember like two out of the four from the auditions. So, um, first up, we have Sky. This is Sky. I'm assuming she's an audition pick and not a celebrity pick. If she is, y'all correct me in the comments. I don't know. You know, there's so many reality star influencers, celebrities nowadays. Some of these girls, I do not know. So, this is Sky. She's one of the new ones that will be on Baddies East. Next, we have T. 
This is T. I don't really remember her either. Then we have Sia. Saya, Sia, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Sia was one of those cute studs that auditioned. Um, I remember, now I remember seeing her. Sia, this is the one, I, Sia's the one I'd be worried about because Sia looked like she would snap your neck in half if you fucked with her. I'm looking forward to Sia. I could fucks with Sia. Um, next we have Smiley. I think I remember her. She was one of the thicker girls. I think I remember Smiley. And lastly, we have Anna Mac. I don't remember Anna Mac either. Um, but she's a very pretty girl. I'm very um, curious to get to know Sky, T, Sia, Smiley, and Anna Mac. Our five new girls joining Baddies East. Now, Zeus also says that Suki, Suki Hana will make guest appearances, which... I'm like, that's another random thing just thrown in there. Like, I don't know. I don't get, like, why? Great. I love Suki, but it's random, you know? Why? I mean, if y'all gonna bring Suki, why not go on and bring Erica Dixon, Scrappy, Mama D, Ray J, Hazel E, uh, Trina? Br hell, bring the entire Love & Hip Hop crew on. Since y'all, I mean, go ahead and start Baddies Love & Hip Hop Edition. Shit. Y'all, y'all bring, y'all bring every single Zeus has been over. And VH1, y'all the ones looking crazy. I don't know why y'all ain't got something in their contracts. The ones who are working for y'all currently who dick hop back and forth from Z Zeus to VH1. And I ain't mad at them, the ones that are dick hopping back and forth. Because you got to get your money. It's good money going back and forth getting these VH1 and Zeus checks. I'm not hating at all. But VH1, y'all need to do something about those contracts before Zeus takes up every single one of y'all's talent. And can we change the concept after Baddies East? What are y'all going to do next season anyway? Baddies North? We're going to watch y'all in Minneapolis and Chicago. and Are y'all going to do a Baddies North next? I mean, this show will excel. This show will really blow up if, one, Natalie, go behind the scenes and produce. Two, wipe the whole cast out. Do not bring any girls from the past back. Do not bring any celebrity girls on. Give us a whole new cast of girls that we've never seen before who are not reality stars, who are not celebrities, who are not athletes, who are not rappers, who are not influencers. Give us the regular, degular, next-door neighbor girls. Bring them on and put them in a house and give us baddies. We don't want to see this touring shit. We don't want to see them on the road. You know, put them in a house for a month. Not two weeks. Stop taking the cheap way out, Zeus. Quality, not quantity. Zeus thinks it's cheaper to film for two weeks on the road, throw it up, versus filming for a month and giving us quality and not quantity. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. I want to hear from you guys on what you think of the Baddies East cast. Who are you most looking forward to that's joining the cast? And who would you just care not care to see come back? Or who do you not care to see that's on this cast? I want to hear from you guys. Make sure you join the conversation below and leave me your thoughts and opinions. Also, don't forget to support the channel by clicking the thumbs up button below this video right down there. Hit that thumbs up button. You can also support by donating to the channel using Cash App. PayPal or Venmo. I will put the links in the description below for you to donate. You can also donate using YouTube. Super thanks. Last but not least, join the conversation um, and subscribe to the channel. Click that subscribe button right below and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a beat. I will see you Sunday night for the Jocelyn's Cabaret after show and the Blueface and Krishan after show. So don't forget and turn on your post notifications for that. Love you guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Damien After Dark. See you.